All right. What's up, people? Man, I wanted to speak about this in this post put up by Ryan. He says, actually sad I had a mole in my camp. A rat. Like, what the fuck? That's crazy. He says, but thank God it brought it uh it's brought to light, he says. And you know, to speak about this mole in the camp and leaking out information to Tank Davis in the camp, um, it's not the reason why Ryan lost his fight. It's not at all. And I don't think Ryan using that as excuse, but I think he's more of pointing that out about the betrayal. And it's a lot of betrayal within the sport. It's a lot of betrayal about who you have around you. And like my big bro used to always say, chosen few. And it's some real shit about how you keep people around you. Um, you have people can smile on your face, this and that. And a lot of people ain't happy with your success and they wish for your downfall. Uh, so it's just the thing. But um, in that fight, man, it was just had to... All the way off for fucking Tank Davis, man. Dude's a bad fucking dude. He's gifted. And his boxing has to be respected. As much as the power is respected that people see, they like the way Tank Davis can get people out there with a punch. What really has to be respected is the way that this kid goes out there and craft the artwork that you see inside of that ring. The setups, other little shit. It's just little micro shit that is occurring with what this kid is doing, man. When you gain the appreciation for the sport, you begin to like really pinpoint and look at this shit. This kid is masterful in that ring. And it's not just about the power. It's about just the little intricate shit that this kid is doing in that ring that has to be highlighted and, uh, you know, really appreciated. But uh, that's all I got. Peace.